So the same God is rich unto all, the same Lord is rich unto all, but not many people or not everybody will receive as they desire from God. And I'm telling you that one of the major controlling factors as far as receiving from God and generally doing business with God is concerned is the state of your heart. Write that down, please. The state of your heart. Psalm 119, we'll see verse 2 and then verse 10. Psalm 119, it says, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies. Watch this. That seek him with the whole heart. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Go to verse 10. He said, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. With my whole heart. In Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8, the Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the pure in heart. One whose motive has been purified. He said, For they shall see God. They shall see God rise for them. They shall see God come through for them. They shall see God change their stories. I like the way the Bible says it. It just says, For they shall see God. There is no limit to what you can see him do when your heart is pure. They shall see God. To some, they will see God lift them. To some, they will see God bring down their enemies. To some, they will see God open doors. To some, they will see God change their story. But by all means, he says, blessed are those who are pure in heart. You know what it means to be pure in heart? It doesn't just mean to be sincere in your desire that your motive has been so purified that behind the things that you seek God for is the singular desire, of course, to improve your life, but truly that you desire everything God gives you for the purpose of revealing him to the nations as you rise also, that behind the prosperity, behind the lifting, Listen, if you understand what I'm teaching you, even before I begin to pray, you will find out that certain sicknesses are just dropping. It is true. In my work with God, the greatest determinant, as far as the manifestation of God's hand is concerned in the life of a man, is the state of your heart. You have heard me say it a thousand times. You can fast all you can, pray all you can, read the Bible cover to cover all you can, attend church all you can as important as those things are if they do not translate to first of all purifying your motive so you can come to god and say father in this miracle service this grace called favor let me tell you how the grace of god works when it comes and finds a corrupted motive it will not rest rather the holy spirit will translate himself to a refiner's fire and walk on your heart first before that grace rests because it will be a waste you will not receive anything so a man of god is praying and say father let grace come upon me give my ministry visibility across the nations and that grace that lifts men as it comes it finds a heart that is corrupt i hope you know that your heart too is a prayer warrior it's not just your lips. Your lips can be saying, Lord, be blessed. And your heart says, Lord, give me this and let me show people that I'm not a small person. There are a list of people in my heart that I need to prove a point to. <clears throat> Is someone learning? I have found that for years, I studied why people would pray and fast and do everything right. And yet it will look like the God of heaven. I know that he's not a wicked God. So what is restraining your hand, oh God, from reaching them? And the diagnosis number one is that the state of your heart needs purging, needs correction, needs adjustment, needs purification. So for many of us, before he comes as a miracle worker, allow him come as a refiner's fire. Hmm. Father, what is there? You can give me 100 million. 
you can give me one billion you can bring me out of this financial calamity what is there to heal this cancer or to heal this diabetes what is there to turn the, this this plague of witchcraft in my life and God says my hand is not too short but every time I come I see that in your pursuit God is not a factor you are just using religion or church or spirituality to fuel your lust and God says that is not how I work is someone learning yeah. in teaching people how to receive from God if the only thing you teach them are the dynamics of spiritual activities without probing into their heart you can give them the rod even if you are Elisha they will take that rod and lay it on a dead body correct rod correct instruction it will not come back to life because the state of your heart is the battery that powers everything you can give someone a brand new clock and it does not work the battery that powers it is the state of your heart every time i prepare for the miracle service or any other service i tell you among the many things i ask god to do is father purify my heart let it never be that my standing here is a man's ambition just to build an empire no the agenda is beyond showing that a man of god is powerful the agenda is beyond showing that there is a great global ministry my concern my desperation my pursuit my desire is to see number one that jesus is revealed and that in him being revealed let his outstretched arm rest upon his people terminating all kinds of yokes in their lives john said that i may decrease so that he will increase is someone learning now so that you don't recycle your prayer request again i wonder why i wrote that request in july i wrote it in august in september lord why is my prayer request not being answered perhaps god is saying it does not take me any time to visit you but let's work on your heart hallelujah oh lord i want to know your glory i want to offer a sacrifice of praise Fill this temple, Lord, with your spirit once again. Oh, Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer the sacrifice of praise. Fill this temple. Psalm 21 to 4. I hope someone is receiving already. Yeah. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. It says, The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. We are reading to 4, verse 2. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Verse 3. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice i like how kjv puts verse 4 he says grant thee according to thine own heart stop there other versions will say oh grant you your heart desire but i like the way kjv puts it he says grant thee not just according to his power according to the state of your heart grant thee not just according to his power according to your heart Grant thee your request. Grant thee the anointing. Grant thee the favor. Grant thee the healing. Grant thee all of this according to your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, is one of the grandest formula in the life of this man you see. I am very unapologetic with pouring out my heart before the Lord. Especially when I'm coming to stand. Lord, if, if by any means the desire to build an empire maybe i did not know and it just crept into my heart let the circumcision start with me first you don't just stand and say be healed and watch people heal. god is not a herbalist hello are we together now you want to stand and make declarations and the gates of people's destiny be open 
it takes more than prayer and fasting you believe me on that it takes more than just Bible study all those activities only find their place when the heart is truly purified and what does it mean for your heart to be purified to see Jesus glorified that beyond building an empire beyond wanting to make a name I rather people forget Joshua Selman and remember Jesus I rather people forget koinonia and remember Jesus if you forget about the name of the preacher who God used to bring you healing and you remember the God who healed you it's an intelligent bargain if you forget the name of the ministry that God used to turn your life around but you remember the one who healed you but if you remember Joshua Selman if you remember koinonia if you remember the manifestations of power if you remember the color of the cloth that i wore and forget jesus and forget that it was by his mercy at the end of it you'd only practice idolatry if you're a man of god here and you came for this miracle service i want you to listen to me very well i can tell you with all due respect and by the privilege of god's mercies i don't know everything about god I'm a student still learning but I can tell you I understand something about the presence and the power of God and that in the economy of the anointing the state of a man's heart vetoes every other thing hallelujah are we learning now yeah. listen when I say these things I desire koinonia to grow higher I desire myself as a man of God to keep rising higher. So when I say these things, some of you feel, ah, it's a risk. Are you not bringing yourself down? But that's how we got here. Oh. The more we reduce, the more you knew about us. It's a mystery that the more you decrease, you will not disappear. You are still needed. But the more you decrease mysteriously, as you lift him, people also see you. But when the agenda is about lifting yourself and promoting yourself, they will forget you because God is too serious to allow his name to fall to the ground because of the ambition of a man who does not respect and regard him. Is someone learning already? Man of God, that may be the reason. You may be a man of integrity, I agree. You may be a man of character, I agree. You may even be a man who is sincerely loving God, I agree. But perhaps the missing link can be that you are hoping to use ministry as a ladder to gain popularity and fame, followership and loyalty. That is not the assignment of ministry. John 1, 6, there was a man sent from God his name was John 7 the same came for a witness to bear witness to the light that all men through him might believe believe in who the light you would also believe in the light bearer but start by believing in the light are we together is someone learning so for some of you before he comes as a miracle worker He's coming as a refiner's fire. Ah. Purifying your heart. Teaching you that when God comes to you to lift you, he wants to see how that lifting would translate to revealing his glory and how it would translate to being a blessing to many. It's all about you, Jesus. And all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me. As if you should do things my way. You alone are God. And I surrender. It's all about you. And all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me. As if you should do things my way. You alone are God. I'll sing it one more time. Let it enter your spirit. That it's all about you. Jesus. 
And all this is for you It's for your glory and your fame It's not about me As if you should do things my way My greatest relevance is standing behind the cross and pushing Jesus, promoting him, let people see him. It is not only the greatest position, it is the safest position. Because any attack that comes to you will pass through the cross before it reaches you. But when you stand in front of the cross, you become a victim of your own pride. Mm, you are safe when you stand behind the cross. Let Jesus be seen before you are seen. Let Jesus be revealed before you are revealed. Whatever arsenal comes, it will meet with the cross first. Whatever will meet you will have to defeat the cross. I am comfortable standing behind the cross. It's all about you. Hear me preacher. Jesus. And all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame It's not about me As if you should do things my way You alone are God And I surrender Oh, you alone are God And I surrender he comes to me with a very simple bargain. Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Father, give me the grace. If that is it, let men even, if it means them forgetting about me, no problem. But may they always remember you when they see me. May they always remember your power when they see me. May they always remember your wisdom. I am satisfied being a mirror no mirror reflects its own image no the mirror stands clear and whatever object stands before it it reflects it so when people look at you as the mirror and it is you they are seeing you are reflecting something else is someone learning yeah make up your mind and say lord bring me out of this witchcraft plague in my family and watch a mirror that will reflect you to the nations and the lord says what did you say where is the power that has tied you for 80 years tied your family for 80 years here is a vessel that is determined to see my power and my glory that i want to become a testimony that god lifts lord i'm not just looking for healing i'm not just looking for longevity for the name no, I want to be used as a specimen that every time the nations doubt whether there is a God, you will push me forward and I say, look at my life. I am a testament of what God can do with an ordinary man. Esther goes to the palace and she forgot the purpose for her rising. And Mordecai warned her, said there was a woman there before you all. So if you mess up God's program the same way Vashti left, he will also take you away and keep overturning until he finds a vessel that can be a mirror. For some of you, God brought you here because you are literally at the red tape. It, don't let God take your bishopric because you are determined to be seen. You can still be gifted while forgotten. You can still be gifted, whereas in a strange way, as gifted as you are, nobody will remember you and nobody will place a demand upon your life. And yet God will find someone who may not be as gifted, but say, Lord, from this, I, I came from a village. I cannot even speak very well like Moses. And God says, a stammerer that will reveal me is greater than an orator who will let men see self. Someone, while you are seated, I'd like you to pray one minute. Father, purge my heart. 
I know that I came to be healed but purge my heart. I came to be delivered but purge my heart. Bring me to that point where my entire life becomes a, a project, a project to revealing you. Go ahead and pray. Overflows pray. Online pray. Jesus is speaking to someone. It's not because his power cannot be outstretched. Go ahead and pray. Purge my heart. Purify my motif. I cry to you, the God of my salvation. The tendency is there for self to want to be revealed, for flesh to want to be revealed. Take a minute to pray. This is part of the miracle service. A real miracle is happening in your heart that will ripple itself across every other part of your life. Sana Sabalaska Franda Balakatosi prayers. It's all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you, it's for your glory and your fame, it's all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you. For your glory and your fame, it's not about me. As if you should do things my way, you alone are God, and I surrender. When I heard the mighty testimonies that were happening as they were being shared here, my heart. I was almost in tears and I said, my goodness, this is what God can do. I'm sure someone in the congregation is thinking powerful man of God. And yet the man of God himself is thinking powerful God. Powerful God who can walk through ordinary men and produce miraculous manifestations. Can I tell you, there is no end to what you can see in the life of any man who chooses to make his life a mirror that reveals Jesus. Let me give us number two. The state of your heart. And then number two. What is the second factor that governs, that is responsible for commanding unending results? Second to the state of your heart is the level of illumination and understanding you have. The level of illumination and understanding you have. I'm seeing the number 11. I want you to bring all those people out. 11. I just saw fire and I saw the number 11. There is something God is doing in these families. This 11. It's not just the individuals. He's locating the individuals for the sake of their families. I stretch my hands. This 11 people. Please bring them out. Eleven, bring them out. We hail you, we worship you, we hail you, Most High. We hail you, we worship you. Oh, this 
visit the family so called turn their situations around hallelujah please bring them out I want you to be very sensitive I'm hearing the word Savior and God is saying he's imparting grace on those that God is going to be using literally to change their families I don't know where you are but if you are part of those people grace is coming on you now bring them out in the name of Jesus God is separating people there is a consecration happening in the spirit because you have been identified as that battle axe that God is going to be using to rewrite the story of your family. I don't know where you are, but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. May that grace locate you now. Please bring them out quickly. May that grace apakatos kebraskila. Bring them out. Bring them out. Please don't be distracted. That's why you came. That's why you came. The Lord is still revealing to me. The Spirit of God is moving row to row place to place picking men up the ones who will be saviors i hear that word again saviors it is like a, a spiritual recruiting it's time for god to visit your life visit your family but he will always need a man and that man is the one he's finding now bring them out Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Bring them out. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Hi, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Shaba Kapara da 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 ba. Hi, 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 by the name Jane I'm hearing the name Jane J A N E Jane Jane Alanta Sabra Keparaku Sevrestia I'm hearing the name Jane the Lord wants to bring mighty deliverance I tell you there is a strong anointing in this place as it's happening here it's happening all over the overflows and also the airwaves I'm hearing the name Jane before we sit down Jane, who is Jane? I want to speak to your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a very interesting vision. I'm seeing like a mango tree and I'm seeing mangoes fall down and they are wasting. They don't stay in the tree. And the Lord is telling me this is the issue of fruitfulness that has been happening for a family. Miscarriages again and again. They never stay. I pray for the family of Jane. Every spirit that has hindered fruitfulness, I stretch my hands now. Ah, let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it aparosketa. Let it catch fire 
and now I bring liberty to the family of Jane. Every altar eating up children, destroying fruitfulness by the power of the Holy Ghost, it comes to an end now. Every family suffering from barrenness, unfruitfulness of any kind in the name of Jesus Christ, let that play come to an end now. Believe what you are hearing. Let that play come to an end now. Let that play come to an end now. That a mango tree with fruits, it doesn't stay until it's ripe and it keeps falling down. And you are looking at the tree, the leaves are there, but it is not producing. I say it again, if there is anyone here or anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this is the miracle service that delivers your results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now let me stretch my hands over all that have come to the front. I didn't ask you to come out just to waste my time or your time. I pray for you, everyone who is in front here, for those that are now becoming battle axes for the kingdom, the anointing that you need to return back as a warrior, I stretch my hands from here. May that grace rest on you now. May that grace rest on you now. And for everyone who is out here, because of an oppression of darkness, that God located you by the spirit, the spirit responsible for this, I speak as one sent. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ. For the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Everything that is darkness, we bring light now by the Spirit. We bring light by the Spirit. We bring light by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Your miracles are established forever. In the name of Jesus. Those who can go, just let them go. Those who are still under the anointing, just let them be. Please sit down and let's finish up the second part. Because we need to allow the power of God to move in this place. There are people who have prayed and fasted. There are issues in your life that you must wave goodbye now. It is time and they must wave you back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. The level of illumination and understanding. The second factor responsible for commanding results, unending, ever increasing results. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 16. That lady, just hold her. I want to speak. There's something I just saw. In the name of Jesus, release that lady's destiny now. I speak, I stretch my hands, let her go forever. In Jesus' name. There will be a serious deliverance here. There will be a serious deliverance here. Usher's grace for you, eh? my dear people, in the name of Jesus. Because you have a lot of work to do today with what I'm seeing in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring two people from this row. I just saw light on this row. The power of God is coming on two people, just on this row. Bring them out. There is a strong anointing coming on them. Please, very quickly, we have a lot to do.
I'm seeing the power of God come where the international visitors are. I just saw light on one person. You have been praying. Bring the person out. The fire. In fact, two people I'm seeing. Please bring them out. For someone you came tonight to contact the grace for signs and wonders. And in the name of Jesus, I'm not, I've not started the impartation yet. But there is something God wants to do. I stretch my hands. May my God release great power upon your life. Great power upon your ministry. Great power upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two people from my international, is, is this one of them? Cameroon. I'm seeing deliverance happening for someone who came from Cameroon. Cameroon. I can imagine that there were a number of people, but Cameroon, this is very serious witchcraft. And God wants to bring this demonic thing to end. Cameroon. Do you have, if they are under the anointing, I need to know who is from Cameroon. Cameroon, spirit of death, people dying before their time. You are coming from Cameroon? Ah, I'm seeing a snake. What is this? Parasho Baragosieta, Kradila Kaparandoskeata. I give you authority over snakes and scorpions. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. The spirit of untimely death destroying people in this family. I decree and declare those altars are destroyed now by the blood of the eternal covenant. Listen, let me teach you something. Look up, please. Look up, please. When you see, when you hear me say the word altar, let your mind not go to a place, a herbalist shrine with stones. That's not spiritual intelligence. An altar is not a place. An altar is a system of authorization. What you call an altar that is built is only a reflection, a physical expression. Even if you destroy that shrine, it does not mean the altar has been destroyed. The system of authorization is what we call an altar. Are we together now? Yeah. I want to pray for you. Cameroon. Father, in the name of Jesus, for every of our lovely Cameroonian families that are here connected, here on ground or connected online. I don't know why God called your name, but right now, that plague of witchcraft, help this gentleman. I command it be delivered now shame and reproach that has plagued your family it comes under arrest in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a family the hand of God is going to come upon you now when women marry, they must return back to their husband's homes. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that whatever makes that happen, by the blood of the eternal covenant, it is hereby destroyed now. It is hereby destroyed now. It is hereby destroyed now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me something. Please don't be tired there. Eh? This is a miracle service. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and the spirit of the Lord is showing me Kogi state. That there is a mighty deliverance. Help them now. That is coming upon Kogi state. That is a sign and a wonder. The moment God shows me the map and I see the people from that state. All those who are oppressed from that state. The power of God begins to touch them. It's a sign and a wonder. It's how God does. Therefore I'm praying. Kogi state. Every enchantment and every divination that has tied men down. Be released right now. Bring them out. Be released right now. 
every part of the state, Kogi state, I bring you liberty by the spirit. I bring you deliverance by the spirit. Spirits of untimely death, all kinds of yokes of darkness, be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This is koinonia for you. Matthew 4 and verse 16. Let's finish up. I'm giving you the second reason or the second basis, the second factor that controls unending supernatural results. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone you could not lift your hands very well. I don't know what happened to your, your is it, um, is it a, I don't know if it's a, a bone condition or whatever it is. Wherever you are, I want you to lift it now. Lift it now. You will see that a miracle has happened. And if that miracle has happened, stand up where you are. I want to know those that the power of God has touched. Your right arm, I'm feeling that pain just right here. This is what is happening to someone. But in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, as God has given this instruction, I declare be healed now. Be healed now. Now do what you couldn't do. Stretch your hands. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, whether it's a bone condition, whatever it is, go ahead. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Go ahead. Stretch your hands. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Shortly we'll be taking testimonies. And when it's time for testimonies, check yourself. And then you come out. Just sit down. I need to do justice to this. Matthew 4, 16. But the people which sat in darkness saw a great light and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death it says light is sprung up so you're sitting and you're remaining in darkness it describes a position of defeat failure stagnation and everything like it but it says they saw a great light and remember in isaiah 60 and verse 1 when that light that you've now seen comes to you then you will arise and you will shine. Arise from that place no matter how long you have stayed. In John chapter 8 and verse 12. John 8, 12. Jesus then spake Jesus again unto them saying. Watch this now. I am the light of the world. He says. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Please read the last sentence. But shall have the light of life. There is something in the Bible called the light of life. That means the light that gives life. The light that gives life. In preparing this charge, those two words just, just, it just talk out for me. Light and life. Two words that science still has a hard time defining. Defining light and defining life. When you ask a scientist what is light, they will only give you numerical expressions because it's a reality beyond the scope of the mind. And when you ask them more complicated is even the definition of life. You will not get any direct intellectual definition of life. Because these are not elements that begun with the earth realm. Light and life. Jesus said you shall receive the light of life the light that gives you life hallelujah in basic biology we teach about living things and non-living things and we said when a thing is living there are certain qualities and certain characteristics that help us to know that an organism is alive and then when it ceases to be alive we test it's been dead because we now find the absence of those things that are signs of his life. And I tried to study what are the things among, there are many things that are called characteristics of living things, but I found out about three or four of them are most outstanding. Number one is movement and motion. One of the ways you will know that something is alive is that there will always be movement and motion. Number two, production and reproduction. Anything that is alive produces or reproduces. And number three, growth. 
growth. Growth. Number four, exchange. You call it respiration or you call it excretion. There is always an exchange. Replacing the imperfect for the perfect. Are we together? There will always be an exchange. Anything that is alive must have experience these four things these four qualities there must be movement motion so when a body is dead Isaac Newton taught us in his law of mechanics that it will remain in that state except compelled by an external force to act otherwise otherwise it remains there because dead things ordinarily do not move as far as science has revealed to us are we together now and then production, reproduction. Everything that is alive grows. Listen, that means you can test whether you are alive in destiny or not using these indices. If there is no movement in your life, if there is no production and reproduction, if there is no exchange, if there is no growth, even if you are breathing, you are dead. And the Bible says... When he went to the tomb of Lazarus, how did they know Lazarus was dead? Because all these things stopped working in his life. And when he said, Lazarus, come forth, the first thing that happened was movement. Lazarus left the grave and came out. And he said, lose him, remove those grave clothes and let him go. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Your degree of illumination, your degree of understanding as far as the results you desire are concerned will be what will govern the manifestation of results in your life you may love god with a pure and a sincere heart but in a state of spiritual ignorance bankruptcy of sufficient light and my goodness i taught you here and i've taught you for many years listen to me that lights are in levels the bible says he made many lights say many lights and then he made two great lights in our physical world here we have different expressions of light the chiefest of them that we know is the sunlight but that is not the only light the headlight of a car headlamp also gives light there is torch light there is the light from a matchstick there is candle light is that true there is light from your phone and do you know that every time you want to transit the lesser light will help you until you access the greater light then you will not need the lesser light if the light goes off in your house perhaps the first thing you will need is your phone light or maybe a match a, a match uh, uh, what they call it now to light the matches because you will need that light as soon as you own the candle you don't need that one again you will off it hallelujah and all kinds of lights or most kinds of lights are not needed in the daytime because there is sunlight you most likely would not need your security lights and even the light in your car you don't need it in the day because there is a brighter and a greater light if the lights in this place suddenly went off you may switch on your phone it is light but not enough to let you see everybody here so you need high level spiritual illumination if you must reign in light carrying a torchlight dimension of light and wanting a stadium dimension of result is flattery you will need a, your heart flooded with light hallelujah and light in scripture as you know is illumination that comes from the word the entrance of your word not just the reading gives light and understanding to the simple it is on the strength of that light that you command results please hear me i have taught you and maybe i should take a minute to quickly just do that recap that for every result say results please let me have your attention for every result in the kingdom there is a mystery that connects to it so you can literally list have a list of results breakthrough healing open doors you name them Everything you wrote on your prayer request and everything that brought you here to receive from the Lord. Connecting every result that you desire in the kingdom. There is a mystery 
another word for principle there is a mystery that connects it ultimately it is the power of god that is the principal sponsor of every result but that that power is only activated when the mystery connected to the result you desire is engaged do you understand this so prosperity and financial abundance in the kingdom listen to me there is a result that controls it lifting there is a result that controls it speed there is a result or a mystery that controls it so just knowing what you want does not give you what you want you must know the mystery that must be engaged to release the power of God to make that become your reality apostle I want speed in my life then you need to know the mystery by light that translates to a life of speed and the Bible teaches us that the mystery that controls speed is waiting they that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength from waiting they will start running and not be tired they will not be weary they will walk and not faint so if you want speed in your life and waiting is a problem you have violated the mystery connected to that outcome you will not see it in your life are we together I desire financial abundance now you need to know the mysteries the principle of diligence the principle of favor the principle of value are we together now the power to get wealth all of these forces work together to bring you abundance selecting the one you want or selecting the one convenient for you will only end you disappointed when you are taught to cook there are certain ingredients that unless you put them in the meal tasting them like that is not pleasant to you because you were not supposed to lick or take or swallow them like that it is that reaction that happens while the cooking is going on that translates it to become ultimately a beautiful meal you will enjoy that's how spiritual principles are the working of miracles demand understanding i need to add this plus this plus this and you come up with a spiritual meal that brings glory to god and the saints many believers desire results they know what they want but they have not been disciplined enough to understand the mysteries that are connected to what they want. Healing. I desire healing. What is the mystery connected to healing? The presence of the man of God is not the only factor. There is something called the hearing of faith. Every time you see healing in the Bible, the people must have the opportunity to have the hearing of faith. The only exemption is the raising of the dead. Hallelujah. So if you want to be healed, number one, you must hear the word of God. Number two, you must hear prophetic instructions from the man of God or whatever vessel God will be using. And then that hearing produces faith. You act in obedience. For instance, if you are holding a crutch and it's time to pray and we say, lift that crutch. Don't say I've been holding it for 10 years. You may remain there till we share the grace. How does Jesus see someone who has never walked and he says, stand up by yourself, roll away your mat and go home? It is at the point of obedience that the power of God is released. That is how the healing ministry works. How about a change of story and restoration? Every time you find things go down in the Bible, it is the office of the prophetic to bring restoration. That means you are here saying, I've lost opportunity, lost jobs and the rest. Listen for when a prophetic word comes and you receive, not just by shouting amen. You can shout amen and both your head and your heart is closed. And it just leaves you and goes to someone whose heart is open. You know what amen means? Amen means let it be so as spoken by the mouth of the Lord. hallelujah listen those you call champions in the kingdom are not necessarily men who are great in themselves they are just people who by the mercies of god backed up by their determination and discipline have found the mysteries 
connected to the various spiritual outcomes that men can desire so with the intelligence of a consultant someone comes and says i have been trusting god for open doors and the moment you mention the problem the man of god his spirit just goes to the mystery that brings that result so if you come and meet me and say apostle my doors have been closed i will i will vet you against three things number one what key have you been using to open the door because a wrong key even if a key does not open a door so we have to vet the correctness of the key if it's a wrong key we tell you keep it for another outcome this outcome for instance praying and fasting alone as the ultimate strategy for prosperity is using perhaps not a wrong key but an incomplete key there are keys that you have to you have to open the padlock then open the knob many times and you just pull the padlock alone and yet the one it takes to turn the door or the door may be open but to know how to pull it and take it backwards to open most people do not know so you vet the person against the use of the right key or number two if you do not even have access to the key if it's another man's house you are entering you have to know how to knock because if you try to use the key in another man's house you are called a thief hello you are called what a thief if there is someone else at the other side of that door you must knock so i will vet your understanding of relationships do you understand the law of honor do you understand the law of value if the person whose door you are knocking is not a friend he will not open it if an arm robber knocks your house you call the police you don't open it for him but if your friend knocks the door ah you are most welcome sometimes you can be tired but when you remember that he's a friend so apostle doors of opportunities have been closed like i started when i when when i started teaching i want to know what you did with the last open door the person who paid your rent what did you tell him oh i can't even remember i threw his number uh-huh we are diagnosing the problem now it's not enough to know outcomes you are spiritually intelligent to the degree to which you understand the mysteries that connect to the outcomes and then because the hearts of men can be desperately wicked there are times that the person at that door will refuse to open because the name of the person is herod at that point you don't need friendship you need power this is where we come in now because we don't come to open the door by the spirit of god we scatter the foundation and the bible says that when the power of god came it rattled the foundation and all doors open key or no key all doors open like it's happening for someone now in the name of jesus christ a door can be open and you can pass but it can close over your children but when that door is scattered especially a prison door everybody comes out they become beneficiaries of your spiritual diligence not everybody was praying in the prison but everybody came out hallelujah diligence apostle i want to experience increase in ministry men will not just hear you because you have something to say believe me when i tell you this i think i'm sincere i have knowledge of greek and hebrew you'll be disappointed a thousand times men are too busy they are too desperate too hungry and sometimes too frustrated to just fall into the biases of whatever it is there is a hear ye him anointing but when that grace truly comes you will know it is there because it speaks thou shalt take joshua the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit and that thou shalt anoint him he says that should be maybe numbers i can't remember something 18 maybe 27 18 or so one of those scriptures and then he says thou shalt take some of thine honor yeah in whom is the spirit and thou shalt lay your hands on him 19 now watch this and set him before go go to verse 18 go to verse 18 he said take thee joshua the son of noon a man whom is the spirit and lay your hands upon him verse 19 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight read verse 20 it says and thou shalt put some of your honor upon him why that the congregation of the children of israel may be obedient 
You need this as a leader. If not, you will be angry and saying, why are people not listening to me? It's because I'm Yoruba. It's because I'm Igbo. It's not true. It's because you are bankrupt of the grace. This honor is an anointing. It's a mantle. When it comes upon you, even a generation will hearken unto you. Is someone listening? Yeah. Tonight, we have come with several desires. Your desires represent outcomes that you want to see in your life. But I am telling you that those desires are connected to several mysteries. And that in addition to receiving prayer and all of these things, you must have a determination as a believer to patiently learn the mysteries that must be engaged that are responsible for the various outcomes that you need to actualize life and to actualize destiny longevity is controlled by a mystery sentiments is not one of the mystery you must know what does it take to live long i think the thing just happens those who die die those who live live as painful as it is, I submit to you by the integrity of scripture, it is not true. Mm. Let God be true. And all men liars. But if you do not know the mystery and you are guessing, make him blind, bold face. I know I will not die. You may be surprised. How about lifting? What takes a man from your lowly estate? Because there are many of us here, all the overflows outside, following online. You are wondering, Lord, what does it take to lift me from where I am? What does it take to lift me, oh God? And you find out that the lifting, lifting itself has a mystery. The mystery of lifting is that you must know the Lord as Ebenezer. If you just know him as deliverer, it will not lift you. It will deliver you. But you must know the, have the revelation of him as Ebenezer. That stone that helps men. And then you must understand the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. If you do not understand the ministry of destiny helpers, you will only see lifting in your dreams and visions. You may never enter the reality of it. Because I have taught you that who hates you does not matter. But in this world of men, who likes you? matters hallelujah even if you are jesus christ and you are hanging on the cross it will take herod giving joseph of arimathea permission to bring that body down so there are many people who do not understand these things believers are you learning something tonight so that you don't just say i know god will do it you hear what believers say i know no my god is too faithful you are right but you are wrong you are right potentially but you are wrong because your disappointment will keep recycling as your ignorance permits it. But the day you get tired and say, this miracle service is the moment. A change of story always comes with the prophetic. Deliverance from all kinds of yokes of shame, the prophetic. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet where he preserved healing. Listen, there are few people in the Bible who receive healing by themselves. Go and read the Bible. Most times, over 95% of healing, it was a man of God, Jesus himself, or a vessel bringing a word of faith. And then the potential recipient believing the word from God and receiving. There are few people in the Bible who were healed by themselves. So that the moment you just walk in ignorance, you can walk in health by yourself. And it's true that you can speak the word of God because the word of God is living and active. Are we together? But God's standard procedure is to have men he will send who will speak a word of healing and you believe it and that sickness will leave. And you do not believe it you see, the same way you can stay in a room and receive Jesus by yourself, but most of the salvation of experience of people came through a preacher that God used. Whether the preacher spoke as a person, whether some tape or CD somewhere, whether some track somewhere, it took someone outside of yourself to make you aware. Even the utopian eunuch needed help to a point that the Holy Ghost had to move Peter to go and help that man. 
Is someone learning now? I'm saying this because in the next few minutes, already people have received their miracles but as we begin to pray and see the god that heals and the god that changes stories i want you to understand that this is how the system of god works you believe in god but you also believe in the servant that he has sent if you believe in god alone it is not enough for the manifestation of the miraculous one prophetic word that is believed received with understanding and you return back not knowing what has rested on your head and the next thing you will see that a climate just changes over your life that those who were rejecting you you return back home and meet them waiting and say something told me to bless you something did not tell them it's an anointing the anointing speaks it does the anointing speaks that something that is growing within you satanic objects moving in your body roaming around your body from your head to your body to your feet machines cannot diagnose it but you the victim you know it is there when you tell people they say I, you are just playing games maybe you are just seeing things that one needs more than therapy it needs power say power let the devil hear it needs power not discussions not negotiation power perhaps some organ in your body right now while you are sitting is already failing you heard the testimony of the dear lady an organ your heart is failing and this is what is responsible for this no in the name of jesus let there be creative miracles in this place perhaps you may be here or your loved one all the overflows outside maybe following online do you know i am humbled and, and, and I say this, thanks to all the CMDs and those who have made their hospitals. Do you know how many hospitals right now, not just in Nigeria, clinics, you know, all kinds of medical platforms that are connected right now because they have seen that the power of God, they have agreed. I'm glad that medicine is coming into partnership with genuine spirituality. That is a combo that is needed, especially in this end time hallelujah that there are doctors right now there are patients right now watching as i'm speaking and for those of you who are connecting from any hospital i want you to prepare your spirit that in the next few minutes the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus those incurable inexplainable sicknesses that are just eating life someone is emaciating it's not hiv the organs are well because machines don't diagnose spirits Machines don't diagnose spirits. Hallelujah. How about those who are in all kinds of trouble right now? Financial trouble? Trouble with your destiny? Perhaps your rent is not paid? How about projects that have been grounded? You started building since 2018. Till now, it has not even reached Lintel level. It's no longer a testimony. This one is not just building. You need restoration. Restoration is not when the building is completed. Restoration is when God does something and blesses you with more than one house and honors you and you will see him, you, you are able to see the hand of God in your life. Someone, I, I can't remember if it was Koinonia here or maybe a personal testimony who got an employment letter and while the person was rejoicing, an email was sent again that it was a mistake why must it be a mistake when it gets to my turn say no way in the name of Jesus Christ it, how do you see something good you are almost touching it in the name of Jesus let me speak over someone whatever has come so close to you just left for your hand to reach and yet it was manipulated by witchcraft I call upon the God of my covenant your hand will hold it this night 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 in the name of Jesus Christ please sit down a helper that promises you come on Monday he says you get to his office and he's acting as if you are an assassin that came cannot even remember he told you that
and let me tell you the truth see anything you are not ready to confront you are giving it longevity in your life did you hear what i said you must get angry in your spirit yes sir doors open just when you are entering others enter then they stop you and they say wait the woman with the issue of blood knew about the fact that water was stirred. I hope you know they were in the same generation. She was not near the water. The person in Mark 5, in, in John 5, was still in the generation of the woman with the issue of blood. That one found himself near the water. The woman sat down outside of the gate or outside of the city when she heard about Jesus. I'm sure she told herself, there is no hope of me getting close to the pool of Bethesda. But I say to myself, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. I believe in seasons. I've taught you about seasons and timings. But I've also taught you that the day Jesus comes to your life, a season has opened. Are we together now? Yeah. By the natural course of life, there are things that should happen with time and in season. But Jesus becomes a legitimate exception to all things. He can step into your life today and say it is not next year, it is this year. Um, could that be a prophecy for someone? That it is not next year, oh, it is this year. I say it again, it is this year. You will see the faithfulness of God this year. The job this year, the child this year, the marriage this year, the lifting this year, in the name of Jesus Christ. God has chosen the foolishness of prophetic words to rewrite the destinies of men. That a word comes and you say amen with understanding and God stamps it in heaven and no devil of darkness will come and rewrite it. Hallelujah. While you are here in Koinonia, perhaps outside, perhaps in the overflow, as a prophetic word is coming, my God, there are angels you cannot see going around Abuja, being sent by the word of God. Some of them maybe to national assembly, others to certain ministries, others to certain places. There is a destiny helper sleeping somewhere and an angel of the Lord will come like Joseph, like, like Gabriel to Mary and wake him up and say, God is speaking to you. Come through dreams like he did Abimelech. Listen, Abraham never begged Abimelech to give him anything. It was because Abimelech had a dream. God first warned him about Abraham's wife and to be able to restitute what he has done or what he intended to do, he gave Abraham gifts. Chapter 12, a prophetic word comes. Chapter 13, he returns with untold prosperity. I believe in diligence. I have taught you to be diligent even financially. But please, when you hear me speak over your finances, I know you are a businessman, but still say amen and receive it. Because this God you see can turn your life in literally 24 hours. And if you, listen, and if you don't believe what I'm saying, then it means you are not a Christian. You don't know the God that you gave your life to. Sometimes, in a bid to exalt principles, we downplay God. And we say sometimes carelessly, we find ourselves saying things that, yes, we know subconsciously that God can change stories. But the truth is that many of us, because of our carnality, we have not come to a point where we agree that God can actually change stories. Changing your story in a short period of time is not endorsing laziness. It's because he knows your pain and he knows time has been lost. So he comes in as a God of mercy. Do you not believe in his mercy again? For someone here by this time tomorrow, in the name of Jesus, may my God do something that has not been done in your life from January till September. I prophesy it upon your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The easiest way for God to raise men is to connect them oh dear i wish i had time this is not this is a miracle service listen you need to hear what i will tell you not everybody hear me not everybody will begin the journey 
of their prosperity by themselves there are others your prosperity is already in the prosperity of others you will prosper by partnership not pioneering if you don't understand this you will be poor for the rest of your life it is not laziness there are people god has placed a mantle on the prosperity god has given them is beyond what they need for their own destiny lot waiting to hear god by yourself will keep you poor you need to find abraham quickly if you are waiting to say god told abraham he must speak to me you will grow old and you will never rise if you are abraham don't wait for lot hear god but if you are lot you will hear god through abraham and connect to abraham to rise this is a mystery not everybody excels by pioneering many will excel through their connection did you hear what i'm saying yeah in genesis 13 you put Lot here, you put Abraham here. You will not know who God called and who was blessed. That is the power of connection. When you put two candles here, watch this, and you light a match, you put it on this candle, and you use this candle to light this one, and you keep two of them. Do you know that you will not even know which one lit which? This is a mystery that many arrogant people do not understand. In the name of trying to find God for themselves, finding the key to prosper for themselves, you will get into trouble and time will be going. There are people God has raised already. Discern the grace upon their life and stop wasting your destiny. Tap with understanding and accelerate in destiny. understand what I've said there are people today based on your prophetic blue the prophetic blueprint of your life you would have been a mighty healing evangelist by now but pride will not allow you to humble yourself and in addition to working with God I've taught you on encounters but God has created a system within his body not everybody will meet God at the same level not everybody will have a visionary encounter to see Jesus are we together now there are a few people not because of their righteousness but because of his mercy it's an election of grace he will reveal himself to them and deposit something eternal within them that every time you desire to walk in certain dimensions he will refer you to them you will tap with humility and accelerate even if you will later be greater than them you will start by receiving from them And there are many people who do not know this some of you have come here right now it is true that you came to receive an idea but maybe what God came to do was to give you a grace that connects you to somebody who have who has paid the 20 year price that you want to pay by yourself someone has paid it already and God has worked on his heart and is ready to release when God says he should why do you want to waste your destiny in a lot of carelessness there are believers like that not everybody will build a house by themselves i am telling you i'm not teaching you irresponsibility but i can tell you not everybody there are those who understand god's program so much god gave them grace to build among the houses they built your own is there it's just that while they were building god did not tell them it's for you your assignment now is not just to start building one for yourself now i'm not you can go ahead and build but i am just telling you this is how the kingdom works if it takes 20 years to rise and you that gave your life to Jesus late you want to wait for 20 years before you rise get set to get into trouble unbelievers know this what then is the excellency of a leverage it took you 30 years to know God to prosper to find purpose if it takes your child 30 years you failed I'm saying this to some of you because part of the prophetic word you are going to receive tonight is not just a prophetic word for your own personal creativity, but a grace that connects you to somebody who already has your prayer request like this today, now. Hallelujah. You believe that? 
in my own little way with all humility God has used me in my own little way to be an answer to age-long prayers of people this is in our own capacity there is a man of God who may be laboring I'm going to fast for 40 days I must get the anointing for expansion fast for something else fast to know God more fast to understand your purpose more but if it's influence you are looking for the grace is already there don't trouble yourself with sorrow and meet witches and wizards as angels there are people who by election of grace this grace bodily resides upon them with proof follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise are you learning now imagine that you are you are going to the junction and you have to wait for some bus to come and pick you and you see someone he may not be going your direction but he decides to stop and says where are you going I'm not talking of a, a kidnapper genuine responsible Christian and he stops and says where are you going and you say perhaps maybe I'm going to shop right or I'm going to one of the malls and the person says well I'm going somewhere else but you remind me of myself before I've decided to pick you and take you to shop right most likely that person is not a right but most likely who even pay for you but he now says enter you said no I want to get there by myself and the man says I respect you rain is coming I respect you they leave you there he comes back after two hours you are drenched in rain because of pride and you stand there the boss you are waiting for reverse because of rain and you are standing there you would have received help with honor this is what is happening spiritually to many people there are already doors God is opening how many mantles do you want to get you think you are the first to carry it no. ah, 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 Elohim ah, tonight let me give you two reasons or three why we are gathered here and then we'll be ready to get proper into the miracle service you'll be first a very quick walk number one we are gathered here to acknowledge the God who loves and has the power to make the Saints experience victory we are gathered tonight to acknowledge the God who loves and the God who has power to make the saints experience victory. In Daniel 3, 28 and 29, Nebuchadnezzar was forced to acknowledge, blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, who had sent his angels and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve or worship any God except their own God. As a result, I make a decree, he says, that every people, nation, language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill. I like this because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. We are here to acknowledge the God who loves and the God who has the power to make the saints experience victory. Number two, why are we here? We are here tonight to engage the mysteries of the kingdom that are connected to the various results we desire. We are here to engage the mysteries of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom that are connected to the results or the outcomes that we desire. John chapter 2, when you read from verse 5, verse 7, verse 9, John 2, his mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do. 
and instruction came verse 7 and Jesus said give us verse 7 please fill the water pots with water and they fill them up and then verse 9 the Bible says when the rulers had tasted the water that was made wine look at the dynamics whatever he tells you to do do he now gives the instruction and the water turns to wine why are we here to engage the mysteries of the kingdom every man's water can become wine it depends on what you hear and it depends on what you obey for someone your water can remain water because you didn't even care to find out whether there is a miracle worker among the crowd for someone your water can turn to wine no matter how how late it has been in the feast God can take away that shame by turning water to wine there are times when he will empower your machine to produce the wine but there are times the urgency will not allow that process he can bypass it legitimately and make water immediately to become wine there are times God will empower your farm so that you have a bumper harvest but there are times the hunger you will not even survive dry season he would bring bread immediately when you eat then he will now teach you how to farm well the same one who gives seed to the sower and to the eater is the God you serve make sure you don't receive seed alone he gives both seed and bread bread is processed seed you can consume it immediately and seed is to help you to be able to farm for tomorrow waiting for bread every day may leave you in disappointment but there are times that the hunger that plagues you whether spiritually or economically when you are in trouble and you are about to go into prison in one week you don't need business ideas you need a miracle when you come out of the prison now and you are rehabilitated you now learn financial principles properly when you are owing rent and someone comes and says there are five keys to increase your landlord is going to throw you out by 12. you don't need the knowledge of how to pay rent you need a miracle fast otherwise they'll throw you out of the house you can learn financial principles in the rain learn to receive both seed and bread many careless believers only reach for bread and god says no i don't always give bread i give bread as a sign of mercy now then i give you seed to teach you how to sow so that you don't have to be in that emergency again believers were never designed to live off miracles miracles are a sign that principles were initially violated so he comes in as an act of his mercy when you are now restored he will teach you the principles that make you to work excellently and more efficiently is someone learning now but tonight there are people who don't need seed seed can come tomorrow there are people who need bread for instance if the doctors have diagnosed you that you have six months to live teaching me principles of dieting will not help me at this point i am dying let me be healed first let me know that i will my organs are not packed up then i can go back and you can now teach me are we together now someone who has lost money you are now teaching the person and saying you know what you can start this way it is true but that person is in trouble now god gives bread to the eater and seed to the sower and everybody has hands to sow and a mouth to eat give us this day not our daily seed our daily bread i'm saying that so that when we begin to pray you lift up your hands to receive both bread and see did you hear what I said yeah when you receive seed you now understand how to sow spiritually speaking and so on and so forth you can now know how to sow to the spirit through prayer through word study so that you have a robust life that will will gain invincibility over demons but right now you need help you need assistance the urgency in your life right now waiting until you learn these principles pragmatically the devil may take your life even before understanding comes so you need bread when you have bread for your nourishment and you have strength then you can use your seed are we together now we are here to engage the mysteries of the kingdom connected to the results we desire finally number three why are we here tonight we are here to witness the living God at work in the lives of God's people. We are here to witness the living God, the power of the living God 
at work in the lives of his people causing many to know him and to love him more i like this john 2 23 we are here to witness the power of the living god in the lives of his people now when he was in jerusalem at the passover in the feast day many believed in his name why when they saw the miracles which he did they didn't just believe because there was a preacher they believed when they saw they believed when they saw they believed when they saw there are things when men see it enhances their believing it reminds them again for some maybe for the first time that there is a god that is greater than any charm there is a god that is greater than any speakings any generational cause there is a god that is greater than any orchestration of darkness and it is that god we have come to reveal and ladies and gentlemen if this is why you are here tonight then i welcome you in the name of jesus christ to an encounter that you will live to testify i know that many are already receiving and let me tell you the truth i know let me say this i know there are several overflows here and then several others outside sometimes my heart pains me because those inside here are a minute fraction of the so many thousands of people scattered across this whole ground and then not to talk of the many more connecting online and you you don't if i had my way i want everybody to be in one place where i can see everybody to encourage you as you are seeing me but you know no matter the auditorium at least for now the size will not be able to take us but let me tell you this i'm saying that to encourage someone you may think that these manifestations is just for those who found their way in the main auditorium and you may be saying i mean maybe the basement any of the overflows or outside or maybe fine america canada can i tell you the truth the lady who was healed in one of the synoptic accounts the centurion said i am a man under authority you don't need to come to my house he says speak the word only and jesus said when he looked at him the bible says that very hour when his servants came you can be outside and yet be the first to be healed be the first to be lifted that you have proximity to the man of god does not automatically it's just a psychological consolation let me tell you the truth as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned the believer is the one who receives not the one close to the miracle worker many people were close to jesus and they did not receive others were far off but with faith in their hearts they received so let me bring a word of encouragement to the many thousands of people outside those across all the overflows and those following online wherever you are please hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living god when it's time to pray let your hearts be enlarged be open to receive because the god of heaven is no respecter of person are you ready to receive now please rise up on your feet Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. I, decree, I decree. And I declare. I declare that in the name of Jesus. Jesus answers. answers to, every to every issue of concern. I receive now. Go ahead and pray. Answers. Health answers. Destiny answers. Marital answers fruitfulness answers someone is praying in the name of jesus the son of the living god i receive answers 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 in the name of jesus I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom 
Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord. Lord. 